Okay, so to create a local database connection in SQL Server Management Studio is quite straightforward, but there's a few little tricks to it. So let's have a look at that now and get straight into it. Now, if you open SQL Server Management Studio, why wow, such a mouthful, isn't it? But if you open it and it comes straight into here, if you see this, you can just press the options if you've got the long view just to see fewer options, keep it simple, right? Anything you've got in here, just delete that. And if you haven't already selected, choose Windows Authentication to then use your profile so you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Now, in a moment, we're going to put something into here. But if I come over to my notepad, it's always handy to have a notepad open, right, for these things. We're going to use this command, okay, SQL local DB. And then you can see we've got a variety of them. Now, my project is like uh, Welsh verbs. I'm going to hopefully make a web app on it. If I ever get to it and I'm going to call the local database instance verb tables so I can just copy and paste that so literally SQL local DB space create open quotes name of your local database connection verb tables and then that will run now we're also going to you can use the info command as well to check it out see what's happening and then we can use the start command the stop is really if you want to delete something you're going to have to use the stop before you can delete it and the others we'll get to in a moment so let me open a command prompt window so i press windows key and type cmd and let's paste that in doesn't matter where it is okay because it always roots it to the same directory so perhaps let's put that to one side windows and right arrow if you're not sure of that one and while that's running you see it only takes a few seconds it actually then shows you the version number that's been created so what I can do just to see, let's get some info on it and let's see what it says. Okay, so it's got the name, version, blah, blah, blah. And its state is stopped. Okay, so the last start time, well, it was created time, but it wasn't actually started. So let's go and paste in our start command just to start that, get that up and running because you might have trouble connecting otherwise. And if I press up twice, then I can toggle through my history of commands. And you can see now the stopped up there has become running. So all is looking good. Now what you want to do also, you can have a look. If you put percentage local app data percentage, that just gets to at local app data around your username. It saves you putting that in. And then the Microsoft, Microsoft SQL Server, local DB backslash instances, which I'll put in the um, comments and a in the description but if you press windows r to open the run tool or you can just search for run in windows paste that in and it will open it in file explorer in windows and there you go you can see the instance this is where it stores all that data we don't need any more from that for now but it's just useful to have that context and if you were to delete it i got a video on that because it's a bit tricky but you can delete it from there as well now if i minimize that and I say delete at this point just for if you messed up with the names or whatever. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is actually then in SQL Server Management Studio is connect to it. So let me copy and paste, right? It's open brackets, local DB, close brackets, backwards slash, and then put the name that you gave in command prop. This is why having it on the clipboard is nice. So you just know there's no typos. And again, I'll put these in the video description and in a comment and let's connect and there you go there you go that is how you create a local database connection and connect to it in sql server management studio now if you check out this video here to see how you make a database in that and i'll see you there or check out this video for more from the channel i'll see you there too thanks for watching